Hello everyone and welcome to D22 channel. My name is Dudu and in today's video I have a little trick for you about adding a logo as a watermark to multiple photos with different orientations all at once using Photoshop 2020. Before we dive in, if you are enjoying my channel and haven't subscribed yet, hit that little button down there on the corner of the video and give it a thumbs up. I will really appreciate it. So what I will be doing exactly here is to add a kind of signature to photos that I will be using somehow or maybe share on social networks. I've got this simple icon of my logo as a PNG format with transparent background and that has a small margin from ages. If the idea is to put this in center of my photos, I will leave it this way with no margins at all. But since I want it to be placed somewhere on the bottom right corner, it would need some margins in order to align perfectly with our photos. First, I will change the canvas size and make it as a perfect square with equal sides. For instance, I will put 950 on width and 950 on height. Hit enter. Now we've got a perfect watermark logo. However, there's a problem with Photoshop. Since we have a transparent empty space here, Photoshop will automatically ignore it and instead render the image to its edges, which will make alignment looks ugly. But don't worry, I got you covered with this following trick. So for most Photoshop, these versions to follow work just fine. Let's create a new layer by clicking the plus button in here. Then we fill our new layer with the color of choice, preferably white or black. For quick actions, hit command backspace for foreground color or option backspace for background color. Basically a quick fill based on these options is here. We decrease the fill all the way to 0%. Next, we add a layer style, stroke, we change the size to 1 pixel, position to center, and blend mode to normal. Then we decrease the opacity all the way to 1%. This will make our stroke invisible to human eye, but readable by the Photoshop. Finally, we save our file as a PST, give it a name, and hit enter. For some reasons, you may face some issues with the alignment of your logo. And this happened for me when I first tested in Photoshop CC. It did not align correctly because Photoshop removed all this empty space. Anyway, the other trick for this is to keep the background fill at 100% and instead we decrease the opacity to 1%. Previously, we had it to 0. There is also another workaround by selecting the brush tool, reduce the size to 1 pixel, opacity to 50% and then withdraw one spot on each corner of our layer. This will ensure our logo safe borders. Now let's take a look at our photos where we want to apply our, our watermark. As you can see I got all these different landscape and portrait photos that I downloaded from internet for the sake of this tutorial only. You can find photos link from description below. What we want to do here is to place our watermark on bottom right corner of, of all images while keeping the same position on each photo, no matter what. So I will pick one photo, open it with Photoshop, then from our panel, we click on Window, and then Actions. Just briefly, with Photoshop Actions, you can easily record a number of tasks and operations that you perform frequently. This is a very cool feature that could help you work more efficiently. And since this is the whole idea, we will record our steps and actions we are doing here and apply it to all the photos to come. Let's start. First, we click this button to create a new action. Give it a name, batch watermarking for instance, and hit the record button. You can now see this red dot icon, which means that Photoshop is recording every action we are doing. So let's be careful in here. Next, we go to file, place embedded and then choose our previously created watermark logo. 
Resize it proportionally by holding Shift key and drag down to the desired size. Hit in Enter. Select both layers by holding Shift key once again. Make sure that you have the tool activated. From up here, we go to all alignment options. As we spoke, let's align this to the right edges and then to the bottom edges. Here we go. Now it looks perfect. Let's stop recording our actions by clicking here. We can now close our photo without saving. We click once again, File, Scripts, Image Processor. From here, we select our folder that contains all photos we want to apply our watermark to. Then we choose our image quality. And this is again upon your needs. For instance, I will stick with 10. Last but not least, from down here, we select one action and choose batch watermark action we recorded previously. And then we hit run. As you can see here, Photoshop will automatically open photo, apply watermark, and then save each photo separately. Once completed, you can check your main folder and see that Photoshop has created a new folder that contains our newly watermarked photos. As you can see, our watermark is applied nicely in both landscape and portrait photos. Alright, hope you guys really enjoyed this little tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button, it does a lot of good for me. And if you want more awesome tips, tricks and tutorials, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'm sure you won't be sorry. Once again, thank you guys for watching. My name is Dudu and I will see you on my next tips and tricks video.